What do you believe and why do you believe it? Hi, my name is Susie Porter and I help women rewrite their lives so that they can create their happily ever after. Beliefs. What, what is a belief? For most of my life, I thought that a belief was a sacred holy thing that I should protect and even defend, right? In my early church going and Bible college going days, I was taught to be a defender of the faith. There's even a word for it. It's called apologetics. It's the discipline of defending religious doctrines through systematic argumentation and discourse. This is where I came from, right? You don't change your beliefs, you defend your beliefs. So not only were my beliefs sacred, but it mattered that I defend them. The idea of changing my beliefs went against everything I believed. <laughs> I believed it because I was taught it. It wasn't until a few years ago when I was listening to one of my favorite spiritual teachers, Abraham Hicks. And they said, a belief is just a thought you think over and over again. Oh my God, that idea just like jumped into my head. I was like, wait, what? What did they say? A belief is just an idea I thought over and over again. Wait, what? It rocked my world, seriously. And then I started to just kind of think more logically about beliefs that I had as a kid. Like I used to believe in Santa Claus. I used to think that Dracula lived at my grandma's house. I used to believe all kinds of things. I used to believe that men were all assholes. <laughs> Thank God I changed that belief, right? So some beliefs must not be meant to last forever. We humans and we women have all kinds of beliefs for all kinds of reasons. Are our beliefs sacred? Should we cherish and protect them and keep them? So many of our beliefs are unconscious. We just believe, we don't even wonder why we believe what we believe we just do. As young kids, we take on the beliefs of our mom and dad. Some of us become exactly like our parents, and some of us rebel and create completely new beliefs, and some of us kind of merge the two, right? The key here is that our beliefs are a choice we make, and that we have free will to decide, to question, to investigate, and to explore all the belief systems and all the beliefs that exist. Socrates said the unexamined life ain't worth living. <laughs> as a teacher and as a mom, for 20 years, I've, ex I've seen and watched how young children are just born artists and scientists and creative and confident with these curious investigative minds. What happens to us as we grow up? And why do we get stuck clinging to our precious beliefs, even when our beliefs might make us miserable, right? The belief that men are all assholes is a shitty belief. <laughs> and what you believe, you will see. A hundred percent. Belief is powerful. That's why I'm talking about it. One theory about why we don't change our beliefs is that we love to be right. Even Jesus in the Course of Miracles says, would you rather be, would you prefer that you be right or happy? Like, I get it. From day one, we're programmed to get the correct answer. I mean, I'm I'm uh, been around the block a couple times. I'm still when I'm in a coaching group or a, a class, I still get a major ego boost when I know the right answer. I mean, it's unbelievable. We're conditioned and we're programmed to raise our hand, get the right answer, get a straight great straight A's, get 100 percent on the test. It means a lot to be right. I understand. <laughs> It's fun to be right. So why would we want to admit that our beliefs might be wrong? We become apologetics for our own beliefs. And the idea I just want to share with you today, and the question I want to ask you is, would you rather be right or happy? It's an important question, right? Think about it. I'm so glad that, I, that I'm letting go of my negative limiting beliefs. I'm still uncovering more and more and letting them go. And with each belief that I uncover and change, I become more happy and free. Buddha taught that our minds should be like an empty rice bowl. And Jesus said to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must become as a little child, which means have an open mind. In the Course in Miracles, Jesus wrote 365 lessons 
for every, one for every day of the year to help train our minds to see the world like he sees it instead of like we've been taught to see it, which are two completely different ways. Our beliefs are up to us. We get to decide the things, if the things that we're believing are true and if we want to keep them and if they're making us happy or if we want to change them. My wish for you is that all the thoughts that you think and all the beliefs that you believe, the thoughts that you think over and over and over, which become a belief, that those thoughts and those beliefs will help you to feel encouraged, powerful, loved, and happy. Just imagine if we could all hold beliefs and believe beliefs in our mind and our heart that helped us to feel safe and secure, loved and protected, we could create a world, a wonderful world. You know, just like Louis Armstrong sang about, I see trees of green and skies, clouds of white. That's the world I want to live in. That's the world I want to create. That's the world I want to help you create. I, our beliefs are so important. And if we cling, you know, with uh, clenched fists onto beliefs that make us miserable or make us hate our brothers and sisters, because we have to be right, that is pure ego and it's death. The only way to be happy and to be enlightened and to learn what's really true is to have open hands, an open mind and an open heart. Yes, we develop beliefs and opinions and things that we believe are true, but we do it from a place of curiosity and wonder and openness. Make your mind an empty rice bowl today. Become as a little child. Remember how you used to see the world with awe and wonder. And ask whatever you believe in. People get so hung up on words. God, the Holy Spirit, the universe, divine intelligence, the, the wisdom within you, your own intuition. For years and years, I would just write to my intuition, and it always answered me 100% of the time. Ask your own intuition if there are beliefs that you need to uncover and change and rewrite. You and only you have the power to do that. Today, I wish and I pray for your mind, for your thoughts, for your heart, and for your emotions, for all your past programming and beliefs, that you get the miracle of revelation, the miracle of a new idea, the miracle of the solution for whatever it is that's stuck in your head that's keeping you unhappy or stuck in any way. Beliefs, what do you believe? May your beliefs, <sighs> Be blessed and renewed and be a source of great happiness for you. Take good care.